What up? This is Rama Screen, and in the anticipation of Phobias, which arrives in select theaters and on demand and on digital March 19th, I'm here talking with one of the stars of this new film, Martina Garcia. How are you, Martina? I'm good. Thank you. Thanks for having me today. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you. I, I looked you up and my goodness, you can speak English, Spanish, Portuguese, French, and Italian. Wow, that is incredible. <laughs> uh, let me ask, let me start with this fun question. Have you ever had to use all those languages or were there one or two that you don't regularly use? I'm definitely more used to Spanish, English, and French. I went to a French school um, back in Colombia and I lived in Paris for a, for a bit as well and then in LA. So yeah, those are my three most common languages. Got you, got you. Is Phobias your first venture into the horror thriller genre? And if so, what was that experience like for you? I think it was the first time, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I've done before um, like a psycho thriller called The Hidden Face. It was a Fox International movie that um, did very well worldwide. But I think like a proper horror film, this is my first one. And I have to say it was it was really fun to to do. And um, you know, there's something to horror films that it's just it's just fun. <laughs> it's just like you can play with the human mind and and your fears and yeah, it's just I liked it. I liked it. It was a good experience. Uh Phobias is an anthology film. Uh and you star as Alma in one of the segments titled Haplophobia, which means the fear of gun or fear of weapons. How would you describe Alma? And what was your process of inhabiting this character? Well, Alma is an um, ex-SWAT team vet that um, you know, got this phobia of firearms and weapons because um, like a raid went wrong and she did something that I won't, <laughs> I won't tell you because I don't want to give too much away. And so um, she's a single mom and, and, and then she has to, you know, like deal with that um, phobia all the time with the PTSD. And so um, I did some research on, on that and, you know, like trauma and uh, how, people have to like constantly relieve um, the, um, the event that caused the trauma. So um, yeah, it's, it, it, was, it was challenging. <laughs> I think I, I never, I've never used a weapon in my life, in my real life. And um, so here I had, it was the first time I had to shoot to actually learn how to shoot um, a gun. And, um, and yeah, it was nice. <laughs> <laughs> And you, and you also uh, had to do some martial art for that scene in your segment. So what was that training like for you? And how many takes did you, go, did you do to, to get that martial art stuff right with the other stuntmen? I can't remember. I, I know we did some good uh, action rehearsals for the choreography of, um, of that scene. And it was great. It was, I mean, I love physical work and we had a great team. Um, the stunts were like really cool and um so i can't remember how many takes we did but i know it was probably like two or three probably or even four <laughs> i can't remember but um i had a lot of support and you know um camilla my director was there with me all the time and, and i felt like um everyone everyone was pretty confident that i was gonna do uh well so i just you know jumped in and and I, I did it, you know, I did most of it. And of course, you know, the stunt did what she was, what was her expertise. Uh, you said that you, this is the first time you've ever handled uh, a weapon. Uh, I interviewed Frank Grillo once. I don't know if you know, uh, he's this action star in Hollywood, Frank Grillo. And, you know, he does weapons and guns in movies, but he's, you know, in real life, it's like, I, I will never touch that. I don't believe in guns. I mean, so, but what about you? Uh, 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 what about you, Martina? Do you did your experience working on phobias kind of change your perception about guns and weapons? Um, actually, I might have, you know, I might have gotten a little bit of a phobia as well, 
of guns. I mean, coming from Colombia, actually, I don't, I don't really like violence or, or guns and, and weapons. I, um, yeah, I definitely can't uh, relate or connect to that object. I wouldn't consider just using one uh, unless I, you know, like I'm in a, in some kind of extreme situation where my uh, I'm, my life is at risk or something. Um, I don't like guns, to be honest. Um, I don't I don't feel comfortable with them. But in the movies, it's kind of uh, that's you know you can play with things and you can do things that you wouldn't normally do in your real life. That's the fun of it. So. You know, in movies when you have to like hit somebody or, or yeah, like do uh, extreme things that, you know, it's the, it's the chance to do them <laughs> because <laughs> in your real life, I mean, I hope I don't have to use a gun ever and nobody uses against me. I hope so. I hope so too. Um, your segment was directed by Camille Bell, who spent many, many years as a working actress working on so many wonderful films and she's made her uh she's made her directorial debut with this one were you familiar with camille the actress coming into this project and what was it like collaborating and being directed under camille yeah totally actually we had worked with um uh we both worked with a mexican director oh. um so yeah we had like people in common some friends and some uh people that we both worked with and uh, I knew who she was. I, 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 you know, I was a fan of her work as an actress. And when I got the email, uh, uh, the offer for it to be a part of this project, I was like, wow, but I mean, she's the actress, right? She's, <laughs> I didn't quite get it. Uh, as soon as I, you know, as I got the offer, I was like, is she gonna star in the film? Or, you know, she wanted to meet me in, in LA. So we, um, we just, uh, there was a meeting arranged in the, and we met in a coffee place in Beverly Hills. And as soon as, you know, as, as we um, introduced ourselves, we, we connected so well, we had so much in common and she's, uh, she's a sweetheart and she's so sensitive and, and um, empathetic. And, um, you know, being an actress, it's, the best part probably was that she um, trusted me absolutely, you know, because she knows as an actress that the most important thing you, uh, you know, the best gift a director can, can give you is to trust you, to trust that you can do the job um, they're expecting from you. So she was totally confident and, um, you know, she, she was, she was totally sure that, I, that she wanted me in the project. And uh, it was just great. I mean, I consider her, we, we call each other sisters right now <laughs> after the film because um, we went through everything together. She was so like next to me all the time and she was, she was very, um, yeah, like um, into details like, like me and, um, and she wouldn't like, make assumptions or or just you know have any kinds of secrets with me she and nico the dp and and i would work together all three all the time and that was just like you know it was it was great i had i i really enjoyed working with her and we're looking forward to to shoot again either as um actors or or again she directed me and so finally, uh, Martina, what do you think this movie conveys about people who are suffering from mental illness, people with phobias, and can folks like Alma be cured? Yeah, I think uh, definitely mental health has become a theme, like, a, you know, it's been put out there, which is a great thing. And because before it was kind of a, um, a taboo, nobody wanted to talk about their fears and their phobias right so um yeah i i like that you know the first thing that helps you is to just like acknowledge uh, that you have it and that you, and and like kind of understand how you got it why you know where was what was the event that 
created it. And then sharing it with other people is very healing and very validating. And um, I think in the movie specifically, because it's kind of their phobias and fears are being weaponized and turned against them. So like these patients kind of, uh, their lives and, and mental health is so threatened by the external world and by the government that I think that gives them the strength to just overcome it. Like, you know, like, um, I don't know how, do you, how they call it, like run or die, something like that. It's like either you like push yourself forward or you die. It's kind of a life and death um, situation. And that's what, you know, like Alma and, and all the rest kind of get back to, to themselves and, and save their lives. Uh, for my fans at home, everybody go check out Phobias, arriving in select theaters and on demand and on digital March 19th. Martina, thank you for talking to me and congratulations. Thank you.